Hello everyone, hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, I will be starting off with transformation. So before we dive into the the main, the core stuff, uh, let's just do a bit of, and let's just do a quick introduction of the topic. So there are four main transformations that we're gonna be studying in this topic. One is reflection, very easy. Rotation, slightly tricky. Uh, translation, very, very easy. And enlargement, which again can be slightly tricky, okay? And uh, we're gonna be doing them one by one and every uh, concept will be followed by some past prepare questions or just some practice questions. And then towards the end, we're gonna do, uh, uh, we're gonna do full length uh, past prepare questions so that you have an idea as to what a question on transformation looks like, okay? So just, just to have, let's just have a look at uh, all of the four transformations one by one, see what they all stand for and uh, what is it that's uh, important about them that we need to know. So we start off with reflection. So reflection is something that we deal with, uh, you know, ev pretty, pretty much every day. You know, as I'm recording this video, I can see that my video it has been uh, reflected. So, you know, that's, that's what reflection really is. Or even when you stand in front of a mirror, and uh, if you if you're wearing a t-shirt that has some text written on it you you must know you must have noticed that the text on the mirror is inverted okay so that is basically a reflection of uh the object so one thing that should be very clear uh, regarding the terminologies is that the whatever is in in its original form is the object and whatever you get after you've applied the transformation be it reflection rotation enlargement translation is referred to as image so this is what the object looks like in front of a mirror and uh, when you refer when the the mirror reflects it this is what it looks like okay so this is what you see in the mirror this you can see is the image okay it's inverted uh which reminds me of a famous um line from top gun uh i was inverted i, I, I don't know if, if it was necessary to say that over here but you know it's, it's just something that i uh, it's just something that i uh, just remembered so a couple of key points is uh, are uh, shape and size of the image remains the same okay we can see that the shape doesn't change and the size also doesn't change. Image and the object are equidistant from the line of reflection. So that means that uh, exactly how far the object is, that is how far the image is going to be, the distance remains the same. Now this is something that I've drawn freehand, so it may not look exactly the same, but you know, that's how it is. Okay, so in order to define a reflection, you we need to know a line of reflection we need to know what the line of reflection is for example if i ask you to reflect an object well that's incomplete information because i need to also tell you what is the line of reflection okay so in order to reflect an object you need to know what the line of reflection is that's very important okay and there are some standard cases over here one is along the x-axis which is y equals to zero that's what the equation of x-axis is along y-axis which is x equals to zero you know the vertical axis along the line y equals to x and along the line y equals to minus x now these are some some standard cases for which we have some standard rules so we're going to look at these rules one by one so yeah okay so okay so that was just an introduction of uh, reflection and in the next video we are going to be looking at these standard cases in detail and uh, this video was just meant to do uh, an introduction which i just did so yeah that's it for this video i'll see you guys in the next one until then take care bye bye